Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the best of beauty for 2015 and this is part two. And I'm gonna be sharing some skincare, some hair products, um, actually some like fashion accessory type things. Um, I'm picked out like the most worn of 2015. I have a bunch of jewelry and just different accessories and bags and shoes and different things to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, I have some great products as well that I've just loved for 2015. So uh, let's get started. We're going to start off with skincare and I have a ton of skincare products to share with you. Um, some really good ones that I've tried this year that have become staples in my skincare routine. And I am going to be doing an updated like winter skincare routine probably in the near future here um but my two favorite for 2015 and probably will never change and it's coming as no surprise um are two cleansers these cleansers have been just as staples in my routine i use them pretty much every single day and it's obviously philosophy purity and the michael todd honey and oat gentle deep pore cleanser these two i think i talk about like all the time um i use this one at night with my sauna clear which i will talk about next and this one in the morning so i love these cleansers they're amazing they just clean your skin so so good um since i've been using this routine of this at night and this in the morning i like never get breakouts i don't I actually had a breakout the other day, but it was from a makeup product. But before that, I probably haven't had a breakout for over a year. So that's pretty amazing. So I give props to these two. Okay, so this year I felt like my skin was just so amazing throughout the year. And I really honestly have to give it up to this guy right here. And it is the Sonic Clear. I just talked about it a second ago. I use it with my Philosophy Purity Cleanser. And I use it pretty much every single night. I take... I usually take three days off. I'll take Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, like the weekend off of this, but every other day I I use it. I use it every single night. I love this thing. And I used to use the Clarisonic pretty much every single night as well, pretty much the same way I use this. Um, but my Clarisonic died. It didn't die. It still works, but it it's acting funny so I kind of just put it aside and I pulled out this and just strictly used this for probably the past year and I've seen dramatic differences in my skin my skin is so much softer it's it's looking more youthful and I I have never felt smoother skin in my life like my skin has been so good and I have not had like I said I haven't had a ton of breakouts and I really think it's because of this guy I love this tool like it is the best facial cleansing tool I have ever tried um this one is actually the Sonic Clear Elite um and it's kind of cool it has like a collagen boosting um little button and instead of pulsating back and forth it pulses out um, so it kind of like triggers all the collagen and I've been using it on my forehead because oh, my lines up there are like the devil um, And I feel like it's been helping. Maybe it's just in my head But I really do feel like it's been helping. I don't use it every single night, but I'll use it probably once or twice a week and I feel like it's helping a little bit not dramatically, but definitely a little bit so I love this this is to me, this is way better than the Clarisonic. It really, really, really deeply cleanses, and I love it. It's it's the best skincare thing I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to lie. It's just so, so good. During the daytime, I found a favorite moisturizer, and I really love this stuff. I've repurchased it twice now. It is the First Aid Beauty Face Cream, and it's their... It's, this one says multitasker, but it, before it said age delay, so I don't really know what it's called anymore, but it looks like this. It comes in this nice little tube, and it has SPF. That's why I kind of use it in the daytime. It's very lightweight. Um, it's a little... Um, it's a little heavier, but it, it sinks into my skin really well and it lays really nicely underneath my makeup. It doesn't break up my makeup at all. So I really like it. It's a, it's a good one. Um, and it does say it helps uh, the appearance of wrinkles. It just nourishes and moisturizes the skin and it doesn't have any weird smells or like fragrance or anything. So that's what I really like about it. It's very simple. It's not crazy. It's just a basic kind of face cream. Um, and like I said, it's a little, it's lightweight, but it's very, very moisturizing. So I really love this stuff and I've been loving it for the morning. 
All right, and then two products that I use at the night that are holy grails. I cannot live without. They are truly just like, I can't, I can't live without them. They are just so good. Um, the first one is also by Michael Todd and I have a lot of Michael Todd stuff because I really stand by their skincare. I honestly think it's so good for your skin. I've seen just so many good things happen to my skin from using their products and they're just, they're good. They're just, it's good. Is good I can't say anything else and I do have a 20% off um, discount code down below as well as they are at Ulta now which is awesome only select products are at Ulta but um, including the Sonic Clear which is awesome but they're just awesome I, st I stand by their products 100% um, so this one is the new serum and it's the anti-aging facelift <sighs> This stuff is amazing. My mom uses the cream. I love the serum. Um, I just prefer it um, underneath my moisturizer. And I kind of concentrate the serum up on my forehead here just because that's where I find my lines are. I've also been trying to put it right here around my smile lines. I just feel like my lines are, when my face gets really dry, my lines come out. But I, I just feel like I have seen a huge difference like I could go on and on about this I'm not going to because I've talked about it a lot but I've seen serious dramatic differences in my fine lines because of this little guy I literally this is like my lifesaver so um yeah I already have a, this is like almost done and I already have a backup and I'm like I can't ever not have it in my drawer it has to be in my drawer or I will die. <laughs> so I love the serum. The other one I discovered this year is the Origins High Potency Nitamins. This is their night cream. I am obsessed with this stuff. I'm almost out of it. I need to go pick up another one. I, I don't know if I can live without this either. Um, it's just a really thick moisturizer, but I hate moisturizers that make you feel greasy and like a slime pit. This one doesn't at all. It like seriously just like sinks into your skin and you don't feel it doesn't feel tacky or like sticky on your face. It just really soaks into your skin and really really hydrates and it's like it's amazing feeling on your skin and it smells like oranges which I would actually prefer in the morning time, but at night it's just really nice as well. So I love this stuff. This These two together are like holy grails. Alright, a last skincare product I want to mention is also from Michael Todd. It is their Pumpkin Nutrient Rich Facial Mask. I've talked about this a ton. I love it. It looks like baby poop on your face. It's a little bit tingly. Um, I wouldn't suggest it for super sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin, but I like tingly masks. Um, I just really am into it. Um, and I love this one. It like brings the blood to the surface of the skin and it just really extracts everything. And then it has these like beads that just like exfoliate as you wash it off. I love this mask. It's so, so good. Um, it's one of my all time favorites and this year I used it a ton. All right, next, moving on to hair. I have literally one brand that I have to say and I'm gonna mention some of the products from the brand that is total standout of the year. Cannot live without these products. They are so good, this brand. Is just amazing to my hair and it's so pricey and it is living proof I love their hair products I love them um, the scent of them makes me happy the way they work in my hair makes me happy I'm obsessed um, the first two products that I want to share all of these are like game change game changers to my hair um, and this is the shampoo and conditioner this is the no frizz line <sighs> I'm obsessed. I've never had my hair feel cleaner. It feels lightweight. I don't feel like I have crazy, frizzy, coarse, crunchy hair. Um, it's really just soft and lightweight and bouncy. I'm like, oh, my hair feels so good. Every time I use this, I, I'm i obsessed with it. Um, the other product from the No Frizz line that I cannot live without is the Humidity Shield. It's a f It says it's a finishing hairspray, but I find that it really just kind of smooths down my hair in a very lightweight way. Um, that's what I kind of like about Living Proof is everything's very lightweight to your hair. I don't feel gunky product. I hate feeling product in my hair. I want my hair to feel like my hair. I don't want to touch my hair and feel goo or stickiness or tackiness or something on my hair. I don't want to feel that. I want to feel my hair. And that's what every Living Proof product does for me. 
So the Humidity Shield is super amazing for just calming down frizzies. Um, another product that I seriously, I use this every single time I wash my hair. It is the Prime Style Extender. I can go, I can now go three, almost four days pretty much without washing my hair because of this thing. Like I, I, it just, I don't know what it does. It's like magic. It makes my hair just feel, it doesn't even make my style last longer. It just makes my hair more like soft and fluffy longer. So oh, I love this stuff. It's so, so good. And I'm all, almost out of it and I need to pick it up. Um, and then the last product I discovered this year is the Instant Texture Mist. And I really love using this. Um, I actually like using it in the summer. Um, I actually like using it on damp hair after I put in the Style Extender. I'll kind of spray this all over and then I'll let my hair air dry and then curl my hair. And I don't know, it just gives me like some volume, um, some a little, little a little bit like beachy texture. I don't know, I love this stuff. It's so, so good. And again, I don't feel it in my hair. It's not like that sticky, gunky feel. So love Living Proof. It is by far the best hair care I've ever tried and definitely a favorite for 2015. All right, let's move right along into some jewelry. I have a ton of jewelry to share. I don't know why. I just have been wearing the same pieces all year round um, ever since I purchased them this year. And I just worn them to death. I've worn them to death. Um, and I will try to link everything down below. Anything that I'm mentioning here, I will link down below in case you guys are interested in looking up it. Um, looking up it. But I have a couple of necklaces and I've been really into more dainty jewelry this year. Um, either it being longer pieces or shorter pieces, layering all of them. I've just really been into daintier pieces. I used to be really into statement pieces. Now I've kind of went the opposite way and more and more dainty jewelry. And this first piece is from Nordstrom. It's just this really long thin chain with this really cute geometric-y gold brass piece on the end. I really like, I've worn it a ton. Um, and I got it from like the BP section. It was really affordable. It was only like $18 and it's really like well made as well. I, I like the way it's made. So I've worn that a ton. The other one is from Madewell and I've worn this one a ton as well. If you see my pictures on Instagram, you've known I wore this one a ton. Um, it's kind of like these it's long thin chain like the other one and it's like these dog tags I guess. Um, just really simple piece and again you can layer with it. You can just wear it on its own. Nice very simple piece to wear. The other piece that I wore to death is this really kind of small bar necklace. This is from Bobble Bar and it's the initial pendant so it has like a little E on there. I'm not going to zoom in or anything um, but again it's just like a very simple wearable piece. This is like an everyday piece. You can seriously like I said you can layer with it. You can wear it on its own and it's an everyday piece. You can just throw it on and it looks good with pretty much anything. Some bracelets that I wore every single, almost every single day, and I love these pieces, I'm obsessed. Um, the first ones are the Alex and Ani bracelets. I love these, um, these little, what are they, the charm ones, and I love the gold ones. Um, they're really lightweight, they're cute, you can personalize them. I have like a little E and one that says mom, um, and then you can layer with them too, with other things, and it, they just look really cute on. And then the other bracelets that I have are, are from Bobble Bar. I am Bobble Bar obsessed. They have the best jewelry. I love their jewelry. Um, I wore these bracelets to death. I wore these. They kind of look a little beat up. Um, and they're the, I think they're called the phased out bracelets. Um, but I like the shape of them. They're very like oval shaped rather than really round and bulky. Um, I like the way they fit around my wrist and they have these like, it's like little stars and little moons or whatever. I really like those, wore those a ton. And then the other one I really liked is this one. It's this like chain link bracelet. It's really chunky. Um, I like the look of this one on its own, but I also like layering like a bunch of other like daintier pieces with this one. So wore those all year round. The next thing I have is a pair of sunglasses. I wore these a ton during 2015. I discovered them. They are very affordable. Um, I'm not into very expensive sunglasses because anytime I buy expensive sunglasses, they break and I lose them and I tend to break all my sunglasses. But these have lasted 
because they're cheap. Um, and they are from Urban Outfitters. They kind of look like the Karen Walker sunglasses. Um, they're very bug big looking um, and they were only $18 so really like them. They're super cute. Um, I, I love the like tortoise look of them. So I've worn these a ton this year. I'm still wearing them now and I love them. The next thing is crossbodies. I completely used to be obsessed with big totes and huge bags and after having Eli that was like out the window and I could only do crossbodies and I tended to hoard them this year. I just, I love a good crossbody bag that has, it's not too small, um, but it's not too big. It can go crossbody and it can fit a lot of stuff. Um, that was like my ideal crossbody. This one was perfect. Um, this one's from Madewell. It's actually pretty old, um, but I love this one because of the size and the shape. And they have so many different ones out there just like this one. I do love Madewell's leather. Their leather goods are just so good. They're so like soft. And the more you wear them, the better and better they look and feel. So I love, love Madewell. Um, but I love this one. It's got such good room and like little pockets. It's just a good roomy bag. I I've worn this one a ton. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this stuff over and over. Um, and then the other one is a little bit newer. I think I got it in like October, but I love this one too. It's a Michael Kors. I don't know what it's called, um, but it's just like this long crossbody. It's got the chain here, a nice leather strap, um, and then it's got like a bunch of pockets and stuff. It's re really roomy. It's pretty thick and roomy. So I like this one. This one's just like my go-to because I can just throw a bunch of stuff in it and go. Um, so yeah, and it, it goes with a lot of stuff. That's why I like about these bags. They go with a lot of my wardrobe. So really been loving crossbodies. Okay, I have to mention scarves. Um, this one in particular, I really loved this year, but I also just love um, big scarves from ASOS. ASOS had some amazing scarves this year. Um, so keep checking them out. I'm kind of curious to what has to what they come out with um, in the spring. I love them. The quality of them are really, really nice. They're not too thick. They're not too bulky. Um, some of them can get bulky, but I kind of like that for the winter time. I don't know. I just really, their patterns are really pretty. Their colors are really pretty. Really love this one. I have a ton of other ones that I bought this year that are like big blanket scarves. So really love ASO scarves. They have really great ones. Then the last thing is a pair of shoes. And honestly, I could probably make a whole video on 2015 favorites for like fashion and like actual like clothing and things like that. But I'm just going to mention a pair of shoes that I wore a ton. And they are these right here. These are the Steve Madden I believe they're called the Noble Booties. Um, oh, I wore the, I wore it once I got, I got these like, was it like late summer, early fall? I wore them to death. Like I wore them everywhere. I love the chunky sole. Um, it's a good enough heel to where it gives me a lot of height, but they're not uncomfortable. Like it's not super uncomfortable. Stiletto heels, I can't, I can't do for a very long period, but I love a good chunky thick heel um, and I like these because the leather is so buttery they had these like nice elastic I don't know, they were just really cute it was a really cute booty for like summertime into fall I could totally wear these in the spring if I wanted really love these booties they're great all right so I hope you guys enjoyed my best of beauty for 2015 part two um, I will try to link everything down below and yeah, I have a lot of stuff here. I hope this video isn't too long. Of course it's going to be long. It's a best of beauty, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.